Hi there, this is Vadim Mihalenka, and in this video, I would like to show you how you can organize your student files on Google Drive. So what is Google Drive? Google Drive is, first of all, an online file storage. It allows you to store up to 15 gigabytes of files for free and there are additional plans that you can purchase if you need more space. Secondly, it's a collaboration tool. It allows you to collaborate and work on the same file with other people. It is also a backup tool. You can push your files from your desktop, from your phone, into the cloud and store them over there with ability to access them from any computer. It is also a productivity tool because it allows you to share files and access the same file from multiple machines. It also provides native support for Google Office Docs, for example, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. And it also supports Microsoft Office files for Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. To start working with Google Drive, you just click the New button. And here you can create new folder, you can do new file upload, new folder upload, or you can create new Google Docs, new Google Sheets, or new Google Slides. You also have some additional options where you can create new Google Forms, Google Drawings, Google My Maps, Google Sites, Google App Scripts, and Google Jamboards. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Michalenka, and I have MBA and Master's degree in Computer Science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. Let's go ahead and create a folder on Google Drive. To do that, we just need to click New button and select Folder and type the folder name. So I'm creating a folder called Milwaukee College. Once I click the Create button, the folder shows up here. As we're starting to create folders, this is an opportunity for us to think what's the best way to organize the information. And typically, the best way is the way that works for you to find what you're looking for quickly. Google Drive supports hierarchical folder structure. For example, you might be studying at the college, and it might be a technical college, so that might be your root folder. You might have multiple semesters there, and your first semester would be Fall 2020, your next semester would be Spring 2021. In the Fall 2020, you will be taking two classes, Introduction to Computing and Windows 10. And in Introduction to Computing, you will have multiple lectures. You can replicate this structure right on Google Drive by clicking on the folder and creating subfolders inside the folder. Or as an alternative, you might already have this structure on your computer. And if you have this structure, you can just copy it from your computer onto Google Drive. To do that, you navigate to the root folder of the structure and just drag it and drop it right into Google Drive. Once upload is complete, you can navigate through the structure. And the cool part about this, that Google Drive doesn't just recreate the folder structure, but it also brings in all the files that you have in those folders. Now let's look at sharing and collaboration features Google Drive provides. For example, you can share a document with another person, work on a document together. You will be able to see all the changes real time and you will be able to just stay on the phone, talk on the phone, see the changes from another person and complete the projects faster. So let's suppose that as part of lecture two and week two of my class, I need to do a team project. What can I do now? I can create a new Google Docs document. I can give it a name here. I can decide on the topic and I can start typing the document. Now let's say that I need inputs from my team members or classmates. To get the input, I'll share the document with another person. To do that, all I need to do is click the share button and type the name and email of the person if I have them in my contacts right here in this dialog box. Once they receive the document and open it, we see this marks, we can work on the document together and you see changes by another person highlighted in a different color. As another person makes the changes, you see changes coming in your version of the document real time. You can also navigate to File, Version History, and see Version History to see all the changes made by different people. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips 
Tricks and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. Google Drive provides you advanced capabilities working with images. For example, let's assume that I keep all of my YouTube thumbnails on my hard drive on my PC. And now I would like to bring them onto my Google Drive. To do that, I would need to create a new folder here. And I can do it by clicking New Folder, typing a new folder name, I'll call it YouTube Thumbnails, and clicking Create button. Once new folder is created, I can put two windows side by side in Windows 10 by using snapping feature of Windows. And uh, to remind you, this feature is uh, Windows left arrow and Windows right arrow shortcut keys on your keyboard. Then I will select all the images in my PC by holding Shift button and selecting the first and the last file in the series. And then I can drag and drop them right into this folder. You will see the files are uploading and this is an uploading Windows with the status. Once all files have uploaded, you see preview of all thumbnails right here on Google Drive. If you would like to see additional, more detailed information on the images, you can just switch between the views. In this view, you see all the details. You have owner, you have last modified date, and you have file size. Or if you would like to have a preview of the images, you can toggle between those two views. You can access Google Drive folder features right here in the navigation menu. When you click on the folder, you see additional functions that's available for every folder. For example, you can open it with, you can add a new folder, you can share, get shareable link, add shortcut to drive, move somewhere else, add to start, rename, change color, search on YouTube thumbnails, download or remove. Same way as accessing folder features, you can access file features and properties right when you do right mouse click in Google Drive. For example, for the images, you can do preview, open with, share, get shareable link, add shortcut to drive, move to, add to start, rename, view details, manage versions, make a copy, and do other things as needed. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this, and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. Let's look at the reasons why you might consider using Google Drive, based on its cool features and capabilities. You get 15 gigabytes of free storage. You get native support for Google Office documents. You can create natively Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. You have limited support for Microsoft Office documents. And I say limited because you can upload documents and they will be converted, but you will not have access to some of the advanced features that Office provides. You can access files on the mobile device. There is Google Drive app on the Android and iOS platforms. And you can download the app you can log in and access the same files as you would do through browser-based interface on your desktop. Google Drive is also a share and collaboration platform. You can select the file, share it with other people, and work on the file together to get results faster. Let me share with you some advanced Google Drive features and capabilities you might benefit from in your day-to-day -day work. For example, if you look here on the screen, I see thumbnails, but some of the parts of the thumbnails are cut off short and do not show up as part of the thumbnail. I would like to see the full thumbnail. To do that, I can just right click and click preview. And I can navigate through thumbnails right here on Google Drive to see full version. Another cool feature, let's say I need to download the thumbnails back onto my desktop. To do that, you can just right click on the file and click download. File will show up right here in the Chrome download folder. But let's assume that I have hundreds of those thumbnails and I need to download all of them and I need to do it fast. What Google Drive provides, it allows you to zip the entire folder and download it right onto your desktop. To do that, you can click on the folder and select download and Google will zip the file and you will download everything as just one file. The zip file will show up right here in the Chrome downloads folder. I can also manage my folders by differentiating them by color. For example, let's say I would like to give this folder a different color. To do that, I do right mouse click on the folder, select change color, and then I pick different color for this folder. I can do the same thing for all other folders. If you have a lot of folders, this helps you differentiate between different folders. You can also assign a category 
maybe green would be for the college. And if you have other projects and other folders related to other theme, you can assign them a different color. Obviously, you can share the files or the entire folder with other people. To do that, you right click on the folder and select share. You can assign different sharing restrictions here. For example, you can restrict the folder only to people that you send it to, or you can send it to anyone that has link. Once you're done sharing, you can copy the link and allow for sharing. One thing to keep in mind, if you share the entire folder, the person you shared it with will have access to all the files and all subfolders inside that folder. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. Another cool feature that I like is ability to track everything that happened to your Google Drive account. For example, I would like to know what happened to my YouTube thumbnails folder. To do that, I can right mouse click on the folder and see view details. And right here in the activity tab, I can see who I shared it with and all the other activities that happened to that folder. If you need to reorganize your folder structure and let's say move Milwaukee College inside of the technical college, multiple ways you can do it. You can just drag and drop it and this will move it. Or I will show you another way to do it. You just do a right mouse click, say move to, and then you see the entire hierarchy and you can pick technical college and click move button. Now, if I go to technical college, I see Milwaukee College as one of the folders in there. Another feature which I use very frequently is add shortcuts. For example, let's say that you have multiple folders, which is not the case in my particular example in this account, but let's assume that you have hundreds of folders and you have only a specific set of folders that you access on a regular basis. To make them available for the fast access, you do right mouse click and say add shortcut to drive. And then you choose where the shortcut will show up. For example, I will add shortcut into my drive. And what you will see here is now my drive will have the shortcut for the technical college. And I can quickly differentiate this folder from other folders that I'm not accessing as frequently. One thing to keep in mind is that shortcut does not create a copy of the folder. It just creates a link and reference to the existing folder. Another cool feature I use a lot is to add a star to the folder. I do it when I need to come back to a particular folder for a particular reason. For example, if I want to come back and quickly access technical college folder, what I can do, I can select add to start. And when I select it, there is an entire category of starred items. And I can click on this right here in a hierarchical menu. And I'll see my folder that I just starred. To remove it from start, you do a right mouse click and say remove from start. Let me give you three main reasons why I choose to use Google Drive. Number one, it's a reliability and backup. I can backup all my desktop documents onto Google Drive. Consider that there is a desktop application available that will do backup automatically. I can also share files across computers. For example, if I need to access the same file, I can do sharing of the files over the internet. All I need to do is just log in into my Google Drive account from another computer to access all of my files. I can also collaborate on the documents with other people to get results and get the work done faster. I have a question for you. How do you organize your files to stay productive? Could you please share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section of this video? Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.